Hey guys, Funko Madness here, and today we are going to be taking a look at the Funko Pop Spider-Man Homecoming Spider-Man number 220. Now, this pop is actually pretty cool. This is our first, uh, or not really our first, more like our second Spider-Man pop from the MCU. We originally got the first one in the Civil War 4-pack with Hawkeye, Spider-Man, and the Pocket Pop keychains of Iron Man and Captain America, and... Now we have this Spider-Man in a different pose with a completely uh, different head. And I say different head because his eyes are different, which I will get the... I, I do have the Spider-Man from the Civil War 4-pack, just to show you guys a side-by-side -side comparison. But let's get right into this packaging. We have a simple pop, uh, pop box packaging. We have Pop, Spider-Man Homecoming, number 220. Nice picture of Spider-Man right there in his new... Uh, MCU suit, Spider-Man right there, see him right there, and then right here on the side we have the beautiful picture of Spider-Man in a uh, kind of weird pose, but we'll touch on that later, and you can see right here in the background, which something uh, from the end of Civil War, if you watch the end credits, it's like the little laser that pops out of his uh, spider webs to, I guess, contact Tony Stark. Coming around here on the side, we have Spider-Man again with all the other pops in this wave, which I will be doing a review on. Number 220 pops, Spider-Man Homecoming, Spider-Man right there, Marvel, Funko, and all the other pops. Coming around right here on the side, we have right there, Spider-Man, 220, Spider-Man, Pop Marvel. Right here at the top, Marvel, Pop, Spider-Man, Funko. Right here at the bottom, just a simple barcode. So now let's get this guy out of the box so I can actually review this guy. I'm pretty excited, and I hope you guys are too. So guys, here we have Spider-Man from the new Spider-Man Homecoming movie. Now, this is, again, our second uh, look at the MCU Spider-Man suit in uh, pop form. Now, the first one is the one that we got in the Civil War 4-pack right here. You can see the little differences. Uh, I think it's still the same head sculpt. Like, you see the webs are pretty much the same on the head. But then coming around here on the eyes, you can see if I could... Just, oh, wait... I'm just gonna get that shield out of the way. So coming right here, you can see on the eyes that the Spider-Man Homecoming one has the lenses and an actual texture to the eyes. Whoops, I almost hit my camera off. And then you see he has a texture to these eyes, and these ones are just smooth eyes with no lenses at all. And then also the Spider-Man Homecoming suit has way more detail than the actual uh, than or than this Spider-Man. You can see right here on the legs that Spider-Man Homecoming has detail, and this one does not. Also right here on the sides, it has detail, and this one does not. It's just blue. They do have, they both have about the same color. I think, I think this one's a little more a brighter red, or, or is this one brighter red? I don't know. They actually kind of look the same. So on the feet, you can see right here, this one has the little uh, black, I guess, toes. This one does not, and then this one, or they both have the little black uh, line running through the leg. They both have black lines coming through the thighs right here, but uh, this one, this pop, however, does not have the black line running up the side like this one does. And then you see right here, they do have, uh, this one does have the black lines, but actually, I think this one... Uh, no, yeah, they're pretty much the same arm. Coming around right here on the back. This one, of course, again, has more detail. This one is just plain. And then they both have the black line running through the top right there. And this one has lines running through, uh, black lines running through right here, and this one does not. Spider symbols are about the same size. This one's maybe a little bit bigger. Uh, and then the, for the web shooters, the web shooters are actually pretty much sculpted the same. So yeah, that's pretty much the comparison between these uh, these two. Now getting into the actual figure here, uh, I pretty much reviewed all of him already. So he has a lot of nice detail coming in right here on the sides. If I can zoom in on those right there. He has some pretty nice detail hidden right there. He has these little pockets right there for his web shooters. There's his Spider-Man symbol right there, which doesn't look like it's painted on all, all the way. You can see right there at the bottom. And then again, more detail right here on this side. The legs have a bunch of detail. 
as well. And then the web shooters are pretty nice. There's some black smudges on his thumb. You see that right there, the web shooters. The black lines running across, come around here on the back. We have the detail, and we have a Spider-Man right there, or a Spider-Man logo. And some webs right here, and uh, some lines running through right there. And then on the feet, we have some black lines, and then we have like black toes. Now, right here on the head, it's like, you can see right there, the texture right there. It's, it's a rough texture, not a smooth texture. And then uh, you can see the lenses right there. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much the review for the Spider-Man Homecoming Spider-Man Funko Pop. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I certainly do enjoy making them, and I hope that you guys like watching them. Now, um, I will have more uh, reviews coming up on my channel. I'll, ha I'll hopefully have the entire, and uh, you know, I will have the entire review or the entire set. I will review the entire set. That's what I want to say. I'm going to review this entire set that's right there on the back of the box because I do have all of them. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that and subscribe if you want to see that content. So thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys later. Peace.